since I was about seven years old when I first kicked the ball. Always wanted to be a professional footballer. I've always loved it, just love everything about it. All your problems go away when you're playing football, you know, and um, solves everything. Hi, I'm Jamie Trugaskis. Um, I'm 21 years old and I play for Man City Amputees. Jamie Trugaskis is considered one of the best amputee footballers in the world. Now a member of the thriving Manchester City amputee team and Team GB, Jamie's come a long way since losing his leg to cancer, aged just 13. Well, I've been playing football since I was like eight years old. Football, 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 it was, I mean, he was one of the most popular lads in his team. Very good footballer. Um, yeah, I played for Man City Academy when I was about, well, I was very young, about 10. Uh, when I was playing football, I've had an injury in my leg, um, and I was playing football for a bit with this massive pain in my leg, so I started like going physio. Took him to the hospital, they uh, scanned him and then found this shadow on his bone, on his hip. Got diagnosed with uh, bone cancer at the age of 13, and he just took it on the chin. I was, I was a bit, you know, down. When you lose your leg, you'd think that you're not going to be able to play football again. But obviously, you know, I'm here now and it's great. Six months after his operation, Jamie was contacted by Dave Tweed, player manager of GB Amputees, who invited Jamie to try out the sports. I took to it quite quick. You know, um, I got used to it and then I started playing and it just started from there. Jamie continued to develop as an amputee footballer and just over a year ago, Manchester City partnered with Manchester Amputees to provide a weekly session and support for the team. About a year ago, uh, PK invited us down to City Sessions on a Tuesday night and it just yeah, played there every Tuesday and I just kicked off from there and I was going tournaments, football tournaments, you know, and travelling the world, um, representing Man City, so that's pretty cool. Last year we decided to work in partnership with uh, Manchester Amputees and support them, um, providing them with free facilities and financial support to play competitive amputee football. And since it's begun, um, the amputee programme has become the beacon programme in England and uh, Manchester City have become the leaders in amputee football nationally. It's very good, you know, the training, playing where the professional football play. It makes you feel like you're a professional footballer yourself, um, you know, playing indoors um, where the actual professional footballers has trained, you know, it's special, you know, very special. Jamie's a role model for other amputees, but he doesn't know how good he is at this moment in time. And he is classed as one of the best at the moment, but he's not hit his true potential. With the foundation of Man City have given him now, he can go as far as he wants to go. And with the support of Manchester City Football Club and City and the Community Foundation, it is going to be a long way proud that people actually consider me as one of the best you know um, like I said I've always wanted to be a professional footballer so I feel like in a funny kind of way I am a bit of a professional footballer so you know very proud of myself. Oh I'm so proud so proud but in my eyes Jamie's Jamie you know no whether he's the best in the country the best in the world is I've, got, I've been watching Jamie since he was six years old and I'll carry on watching him until he's 46 years of age. That's just, I just, I love it, I just love coming down and watching him play.